I'm going to go ahead and make a bold statement. Anything that doesn't feel good, anything that feels horrible, is not love. Unconditional love feels delightful, feels delicious. It embraces you. It accepts you. It never pressures you. It honors you and respects you. Anything that feels horrible points to something that you're still believing about your life that is false. Now, when you start observing about yourself the things that you believe to be true that don't make you feel good, then you will naturally start to detach from that belief. You will begin to observe what you believe to be false. And yes, in those moments, you won't feel good because you can say there's an exorcist happening in your body. <laughs> it's like you're uninstalling these beliefs that have been deeply embedded in your body, your mental body, your emotional body, your spiritual body, your physical body. So as these beliefs start to uninstall themselves and they exit your body, yeah, it's not going to feel good. It's going to... Uh, uh because the ego is trying to keep it on board. It's trying to cling on to it. So you could say that on a very fundamental level, the reason why we're in this human body, I'll make it very simple for you, is love is all there is. Love is the only true reality. Everything else is disconnected from love. Everything else has distanced itself from love. So in this human body, what we're essentially doing is we are staying home. We stop leaving the nest when someone pushes our buttons, when someone makes us feel bad about ourselves, when a situation makes you feel bad about yourself. You stop leaving the nest. We are becoming more resilient. We are becoming unfaltering in our love. <clears throat> so love is like this non-local energy, this non-local force that is everywhere. It is omnipresent. And the reason why we're in this human body is so that we can strengthen our love while being in this human body so that we can stop feeding into the lies that we've adopted as truths. Is this making sense? So let's say you're afraid that the universe won't provide for you. You've adopted that belief, which is a lie, and that's why you don't feel good. If you're always paranoid that your husband is going to teach cheat on you, uh, and he's he's been nothing but a nice man to you, then you've adopted a belief that isn't true, that dates back to your childhood. Maybe you were abandoned and you're afraid that your husband is going to abandon you. So you've taken on board something that is not true. And that's why you're feeling paranoid. Anything that feels bad isn't real. That's my bold statement today. It doesn't, it isn't real. It doesn't actually exist. It only exists when in disconnection to the universe or in disconnection to God, to source, whatever you want to call it. What feels bad only exists when we distance ourselves from that source. Okay? And people who don't feel good are going to attempt to hurt you. They're going to, because they're misdirecting their energy. They're misusing their energy. They think that by yelling at you, it's going to make their problems go away. It's only going to make them worse because they're believing what they see with their physical eyes. Oh, if I pick on you, if I bully you, then I'll feel better. No, I'm going to feel worse because I'm still believing the external illusion. Nothing can heal you but you. 
nothing and you're not really healing. What you're doing is you're strengthening your love by staying home. So what do I mean by staying home? Because that's a metaphor, obviously. Staying home means if I say something that you don't agree with, observe the part of you that wants to defend itself, that wants to argue with me. Observe that part of you. It looks like a little Pac-Man that wants to go there. Observe that part of you. That part of you represents who you've been in relation to the beliefs that you've adopted that aren't yours. Okay? You observe it as if it's a little Pac-Man, but you stay home. You separate yourself from that part of you that wants to say something because that part of you isn't you. It's a you that you believe yourself to be based on a lie that you bought into. It's a you that you believe yourself to be based on a lie that you bought into that then made you feel bad, that then made you feel negative, that then made you feel cynical or pessimistic. These emotions are not the truth. They're part of the illusion of separation. So when I say separate from that separateness, that's exactly what I'm saying. Recognize that you are whole. By separate from the thought, I mean detach from that thought that isn't you. And by detaching from the thought that isn't you, you are also becoming whole because you're no longer buying into the illusion of separation. You're no longer thinking that screaming at someone is going to heal you. You're no longer believing that getting defensive is going to heal you. No, it's only going to reinforce your pain because you left home again. You took the bait. Stay home. Stop faltering. Strengthen your spirit. That's all you have to do. You're already whole in the eyes of the universe. You're already whole in the eyes of source. Now stay home. Stop rejecting love. Stop rejecting what's going to make you feel embraced. What's going to make you feel positive. What's going to make you feel joyous. Stop rejecting that. That is the source from which you come from. <laughs> That's the source that you originate from. So stop denying it. You already are it. But in this human body, you have to learn how to strengthen your love, your capacity to stay home and stop leaving the nest, believing the illusion out there that if you get defensive, if you get argumentative, that's gonna make your problems go away. Nothing out there can make your problems go away. Nothing. Because there are no problems. There is only disconnection, disharmony. That's all there is. That's all there is. When you overcome your fear with money, there will be plenty of money. Because why? Because you don't see money as separate from source. You don't see money as separate from energy. If you see money as a separate thing, what's, what's going to happen? You're still caught up in the illusion of separation. This is my wife. Then we have my money. Then we have my purpose. Then we have my car. These are all separation. They're all one thing. They're holding up a mirror to get you to examine what you believe about life that is false. Okay? What are you believing that is false? If you don't feel good, you're in a false reality. Or, okay, let me just clarify. Or, you're dispelling, you're uninstalling in a very intentional way the stuff that made you feel bad. So yes, you will feel bad sometimes because you're, you're expelling ugh, all the stuff that you believe to be true that you welcomed into your body, right? But if you're always feeling bad and you're not being intentional about your life, then you're living in a false reality. So my message today is, is stay home. Observe the part of you that wants to leave the nest and don't leave the nest. 
You have to strengthen in your love and in your compassion. I love you.